Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full first impression and review on the brand new Too Faced. It just comes naturally makeup collection. This is only just launched and it is a collection of all nude, like natural eyeshadow colors, beautiful cheek palettes, matte bronzers and nude lipsticks. So as far as what my preferences and taste are, I'm all about like the nudes. I'm just like, give me all the warm tones and the bronzers and the nude lipsticks. Like I don't die for that kind of stuff. Um, yes, I'm very excited to show you guys this collection. We're going to do swatches of absolutely everything as always. We're going to use the products on my face so you can see, you know, the texture, the blendability, how they perform. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the whole collection and whether or not it is worth you picking any of these up. Sorry, I just can't stop staring at the packaging. Oh, it's so pretty. But yes, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna try giving both palettes a go today so that I can let you know definitely, you know, if one's better than the other, if you need both, if you only need one. So yeah, I've got the natural eyes and the natural matte here. Um, basically the biggest difference between these two is that the natural matte is all matte shadows. Very, very pretty colors. Um, the packaging is next level. This is hands down the most beautiful packaging that Too Faced has ever, ever, ever done. It is gorgeous. It's got this beautiful lace detailing behind like this shiny surface. All of the text is embossed. It's got this beautiful gold edge, a little love heart at the front. I die. I love this packaging. So there's nine shadows in each palette. Um, the matte one's very pretty. And then this is the Natural Eyes palette. Um, same stunning, gorgeous packaging. This one's a little different in the sense that it's got like chrome gold on it instead. And it has got one, two, three, four mattes and five shimmers in this one. Oh my God, the shimmers look so pretty. So yeah, we're gonna use a mixture of both so we can see how both go. Okay. Oh, they've actually, they've both got this shade here, Heaven. Um, both palettes have got this shade, so the lighter shade here. So I'm going to go into that first. It's a matte bone color, and I'm just going to use it. I've already primed my eyes, so I'm just going to use it to set. Whoa. Okay, that's actually really pigmented. Normally, colors like that are fairly well translucent. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I've got that everywhere. Basically, the idea was to set down my eye primer, but that has lightened up my entire lid. Okay. Oh, these have the most beautiful scent. It's kind of like vanilla, but perhaps like even a little sweeter. I like the smell of them. If you hate scented eyeshadows, you're obviously not going to like that. You can definitely get really natural and really smoky, deeper looks out of both of these palettes. I'm gonna go in with All Natural now and just on a large fluffy brush. This is like a medium sort of brown. I'm gonna work that one. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, these taste sweet. I got a little bit of the eyeshadow in my mouth and I can taste it. It's like sugary, oh my goodness. I'm gonna work that color. I can still taste it oh, through the crease. It's a really nice soft transition shade, sort of not too over the top. The mattes seem to blend out fairly well. On a smaller blending brush, I'm gonna pick up this one here. This is Sexpert. And this is like a matte chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna work that one through the outer crease. Oh my gosh, I can taste these in my mouth. That is so bizarre. It's like that Too Faced uh, peach powder. Like whenever I set my face with it, it gets on your lips and you can taste it and it tastes so good. Can I just say as well, I have barely done anything there and that deep chocolatey color has blended out perfectly. A lot of the time, as you guys probably already know, darker matte shades can be very tricky to work with. This one is not at all. So far, I can definitely tell you the mattes blend really well. They work really well with the brush. They're very pigmented. You do get um, a little bit of fallout in the palette. It's not like desperately awful and it's certainly not as bad as a lot of other eyeshadow palettes that I've tried, but there's definitely a little bit of kickback. Okay, we're gonna switch palettes now. We're gonna go into, what's it called again? The Natural Eyes. And I'm gonna take this pretty shimmery color here called Push Up. This one's kind of like a rose gold sort of, mm rose gold brownie kind of color. It's a really nice cool tone shadow. This one's sort of like a demi shimmer. It's not like crazy in your face shimmer, but at the same time, it's a beautiful color. Performing pretty well with a brush. I've got to tell you though, I'm not like astounded. I'm not like, oh, it's the most amazing metallic eyeshadow ever. 
but I guess it is a natural palette, so that's obviously probably not what they were going for. Like, it's not like the chocolate gold palette is what I'm saying. It's sort of like a softer, more toned back shimmer. But on the other eye, let's try it with a finger to see if there's a difference. I mean, it applied well with a dry brush. It applies better with a fingertip. Definitely, I feel like it's more intense on this eye than that eye. And I feel like it looks more shimmery on this eye. Okay, I've wet my brush a little and I'm just going to see how that goes. Wetting your brush makes it look the same as application with a finger. I actually quite like this erotica shade here. It's like a cool tone brown with like shimmery silvery green through it kind of. I'm gonna pick a little bit of that up on the blending brush I used earlier. Get rid of the excess and then softly blend that in the outer corners. Let's just see how that goes. Oh, I can taste it again. Okay, that one blends out really nicely as well. I mean, definitely no complaints, although once it's blended out, it doesn't really look shimmery anymore. So we'll try packing it on. It holds its shimmer better that way. Got a lot of pigment that color. Good to see. Chocolate martini is nice. Ooh, that's like a greeny kind of khaki brown. Oh, honey pots of gold. These are really pretty. And Silk Teddy is like a beautiful champagne. Actually, let's try that champagne color. I'm taking Silk Teddy just on a small brush on the inner corners. I think if you had a wet brush, it might be crazy. Let's try a wet brush. Yeah, the formula of these are very soft. Like it kind of feels like if you were to press your finger into the eyeshadow really, you know, with a lot of pressure, um, that it would just sort of kind of like crumble away. They're very, very buttery, very, very soft. Under the brow. Whoa. Okay, yeah. This shadow is extremely pigmented. Oh my God. Um, hi. <laughs> mm -mm. As far as fallout goes, I do have a little bit of fallout just underneath my eyes here. Um, I mean, it is what it is. That's why I usually always do foundation last. It is what it is. But to finish the eyes, I'm just taking less is more again. And I'm gonna work that through the lower lash line. And then I'll chuck on some mascara. Um, concealer, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to start trying out the face palette, the bronzers, and then the lipsticks. Okay, so moving on to the cheek products now. This collection comes with a bronzer blush highlighter palette. This one is called the Natural Face Palette. Gorgeous packaging again, and the shades in this are stunning. From what I can see, it comes with two highlighter shades. So that's these two here. It comes with three blush shades and a bronzer as well. Very, very, very pretty looking palette. And the bronzers in the collection, there's three matte bronzers. So Chocolate Soleil, Milk Chocolate Soleil, which is the lighter one, and Dark Chocolate Soleil, which is the darker one. I love, love, love the original Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzers. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It says Longwear Matte Bronzer made with 100% natural cocoa powder. I'm not 100% sure if this formula is exactly the same as the original, but I will definitely double check and I will um, pop that information down below. Then it also comes with this one here. So this is the Too Faced Sun Bunny. This was an existing product of theirs, I thought, as well. Um, Radiant Duo Tone Bronzer. So this one's got like a shimmery shade here on this side. So shimmery and then like a matte lighter bronzer on the other side. I actually know they're both sort of shimmery-ish. Now there's no contour shades in this palette. Um, there's only a bronzer. So that's one thing that you don't get in it. You don't get a contour shade. So what I'm going to do is use one of the bronzers to kind of sculpt my face a little. I'm going to go with the original Chocolate Soleil. Um, this one's sort of like a cooler tone kind of color. Um, I mean, I loved the original, so we'll see how this goes. So picking it up on an angled brush. Whoa, it's pigmented. It definitely smells very similar to the original. You know what? I'm going to check online. I need to know now. Ah, okay. So on the website, it says our best selling bronzers just got a matte over. So basically it's the same bronzer, but they've made them matte. I mean, I do remember the other ones being fairly matte. Like I definitely, oh, what is in my hair? Gross. That is gross. Like I never remember, you know, using them and then thinking that my cheeks look shimmery or anything. But the formula of this one is beautiful. It's blending out really well. The color is actually stunning. I like the way that it works on the skin and it smells delicious. So I can definitely say that changing the formula to a matte one hasn't affected the blendability of these bronzers, which is really, you know, the important part to test because you don't want to, you know, go out and grab one of these and then find that you can't use it when you get it home. So 
I like it. We're going to go into this palette now. Um, one of the bronzers, oh, actually, no. Two of the blushes are sort of like a satin kind of color. One is matte. The highlighters look gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But um, I'm intrigued to try um, the bronzer in here as well. This is Sunny Honey. So it's this one here. It's kind of like a lighter sort of warmer tone bronzer. Um, I'm going to try that like just a little. Because I feel like you could nearly get away with this one as a blush as well. Yeah, you definitely could use that one as a blush as well. It's like a really beautiful tan, warm kind of color. They definitely call it a bronzer. They call both these shades bronzers. Okay. Oh, I love the way that's warmed up my face. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Okay, let's do blush now. Um, mm, let's try pink sand and then maybe we'll try a little bit of this bright one as well, pink wink. So pink sand is the matte blush. It looks a little dark in the pan, but then when it's applied on the cheek, it actually lightens, like it's a lot lighter on the skin than it is in the pan actually quite a bright sort of rosy kind of color it's very pretty i like that and we'll try a little bit of pink wing i mean i'm probably gonna go way overboard Ooh, pink wings pretty too it looks very shimmery uh, in the palette but on the skin it's actually not shimmery at all very pretty i've got way too much blush on now hi hi okay the highlighters oh my god i'm dying Okay, this one is Starlight. Ooh, it's like a pinky duochrome. And Satin Sheets, oh my god, is like a gold. Okay. Okay. Let's put these in the back of my hand. <gasps> oh my goodness. They are gorgeous. Oh, which do we use? I kind of want to use both. Can I, can I, can I please? I'm going to take the pinky one first. See how that goes. Ooh. That looks pretty as very pink though on my skin tone and I'll go over the top with satin sheets. That kind of tones it down a little. Actually mixing them both together you kind of get like a champagne kind of color which is clever like it's it gives you three options. It gives you the pink option, the yellow option, like the goldy option and like a champagne option. That is really nice and it's duochrome so as i'm moving in the light you probably won't be able to see it on camera but as i'm moving in the light it's picking up like reflex of different colors so pretty oh that is gorgeous okay this cheek palette mm, i like cheek palette more than the eyeshadow palettes i do okay i'm gonna try a little bit on the end of my nose cupid's bow a little more chill i mean we could just go crazy i mean why not see you sis just put it everywhere. My cheek looks wet. That is so pretty. Okay, put the brush down, Nakia. Step away from the highlighter. Okay. And then finally, lastly in the collection is the lipsticks. And honestly, the packaging of these is next level. It's this beautiful lace design. It's like a soft pale gold at the bottom. It's got, whoa, okay, don't drop them. It's got Too Faced printed on the front there. And you've still got that beautiful lace detail with the color of the lipstick. And then it's a wind up lipstick. So on the website, it says these are highly pigmented for intense color payoff, balmy hydrating texture, 10 neutral shades, eight hour long wearing color. Ooh, a nude shade for every complexion smells like coconut. I can't really smell them. Um, all of the colors of these look pretty. I will show you swatches of them all. They all look gorgeous though. My favorite, I think is this one here, birthday suit, surprise, surprise, the pinky nude. I always choose the pinky nude, but let's try out the formula of these. Like I said, I'll show you all the swatches. The one thing that I will say is I don't personally like lipstick bullets shaped like this because it makes it very difficult to get like a perfect cupid's bow that's why i prefer traditional you know lipstick bullets that have kind of like the point at the top oh it is a really really nice creamy formula oh i can smell the coconut now oh that does smell good oh this color look at this color the texture of this lipstick is definitely extremely balmy very very soft very very comfortable Oh, I like these lipsticks a lot. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is my roundup of the brand new Too Faced It Just Comes Naturally collection. 
Um, as far as my opinion goes, I feel like out of the two eyeshadow palettes, I do prefer the matte one. The shimmers in the natural eyes one are pretty, but they're not, they're not the kind of shimmers that I would be like, okay, I need that. If I'm paying for a shimmer, I want a very, very shimmery eyeshadow. As always though, everybody's got a different opinion. So if you prefer sort of more demi shimmery, sort of softer satin shimmers, you'll probably really love this one. I think that this palette is really, really pretty. I love that there's a selection of cool tones and warm tones, and I love how easily these mattes blend out. And I also love that you can taste it like while you're using it. That's awesome. But at the same time, you know, if you've already got a natural eyeshadow palette or a nude eyeshadow palette, um, you know, maybe you might not see the purpose in picking this one up. If you're a Too Faced junkie, get it. I would definitely recommend getting it if you're a Too Faced junkie because it is gorgeous. It's like a collectible item, in my opinion. Very, very pretty. The bronzers in this collection are very, very nice. The colors are gorgeous. I, like I said, was a huge fan of the Chocolate Soleil bronzers. You know, the original versions, and now that they've made them matte, um, you know, it hasn't affected the formula. It's still very pigmented, still very easy to blend out. Colors are still really nice. So that's what I've got to say about that. If you've already got the Chocolate Soleil bronzers, you probably, like, there's not enough of a difference, in my opinion, to then go out and purchase these. But if you haven't tried the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzers, get these, you will die. They smell amazing, they smell like chocolate. Um, beautiful pigmentation, and like I said, very, very easy to blend. So definitely like these. The face palette, standout favorite from this collection. I just, I mean the packaging, the design, the lace presses on the actual pigments, you know, inside the palette are just, oh. And the colors in these are gorgeous. I loved every color in this palette. Um, the bronzers, the blushes, the highlighters, they're all beautiful, all very pigmented. I think that this one is totally, totally, totally worth investing in. And the lipsticks, oh, another standout favorite from the collection easily. Um, personally, for me, my favorite shade is Birthday Suit. It is the one that I am wearing, but the formula is very light, very creamy, very pigmented. Very nice formula for a satin lipstick. Very nice formula. And I think they've done well on the color selection. These are all beautiful. They really are. So I hope today's video helped those of you out who have been requesting my thoughts on the collection and whether or not I think it's worth you picking up. If you've got any more questions about any of the products, as always, please pop those questions in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer them for you. And also, as always, let me know, have you tried any of these products? What do you think of them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know down below. But yes, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!